Welcome to Number Strips. In this lesson I'm learning to solve equal group problems by skip counting. Well you can see down here I've got part of a number line and up here I've got a number of counters. I want to put these counters on the number line and see how many of these numbers get covered up. So I'm going to move my first two counters onto this number line here. Now see if you can work out what the biggest number to get covered will be if I put all of these counters on my number line. Well now that you've got a number in your head, I'll put the other counters on and we'll find out if we are right. So you can see that my counters covered up 12 numbers. And you can see I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 counters on my number line. Now let's try a different question. I've got a different amount of counters up here. Can you work out what numbers will be covered on my number line? I'll put the first two on to give you a clue. Does that help you work out what numbers will be covered? Now I'll put the rest on and we'll see if you are right. So you can see eight numbers are covered. Now what I'm going to do is turn this number line upside down so you can't see the numbers anymore. So at the moment I've still got eight counters here. Now let's see what happens if I remove two of these counters. Can you work out what number these will be covering well, what numbers these will be covering up now? I'll flip the number line back over and we'll see if you are right. So you can see that by removing two counters only six numbers were covered up. Now I'm just going to add those two counters back in again and turn the number line over. Now how many numbers do you think would be covered up if I added four more counters? Have you got a number in your, in your head? Well now I'm going to turn the number, o number line over and we'll see if you are right. And now you can see that our counters covered up 12 numbers. Now let's try another question. Uh, underneath these cards I've got five counters under each of them. Can you work out how many of the numbers on here will be covered up if I put all the counters on this hundreds frame? Here's a clue. Skip counting in fives might help you. Now if you need a little bit more time, pause this video, but I'm going to remove these rectangles and uh, place the counters on and we'll find out how many numbers do need to be covered up. So we'll remove those rectangles and we can start placing these counters on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have you worked out what the last number to be covered up will be? I'll put on the other five. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we've got ten covered up. Now I'll put on the last five. So, fifteen numbers get covered up. You could say that we covered up five, then ten, then 15. Let's try one last question. Uh, this time I've got four rectangles and under each of these rectangles there are three counters. So I want to work out how many numbers on my hundreds board will be covered. So pause this video now if you need a little bit of time to work that out. 
All right, well, what I'm going to do is remove these rectangles here. And now I'm going to start placing some of these counters on the, on the, ten, on the hundreds frame. So we can move the first three counters on and the second three counters on. So, so far, we've moved our, our half of the counters onto the hundreds frame. So we've got the other half to go. Can you work out what the biggest number to be covered will be? Alright, now I'm going to move on the uh, last two groups of three. So you can see that the biggest number to be covered is 12. So we skip counted in threes. We went three, six, nine, twelve. Or we could say that we had four groups of three, which equals twelve. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.